In this video, I'm going to show you how to fully protect your home from leaks and water damage. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. And like I said, in this video, we're going to basically be protecting our smart home from leaks and water damage. This is probably one of the largest things that could happen to your house and result in the most damage, probably second to fire. What we have here is our smart things home monitor if you go to the water drop here under leaks it says all sensors are connected and if we go into the smart things home monitor if you go down to the leaks you can view all of these sensors that we have the bad news is you do need to get a lot of leak sensors depending on the size of your house and where you want to install these is any place where pressurized water comes into your home so we have one in the laundry room because the washer gets pressurized water coming in one in our master bathroom underneath the toilet we have one under the kitchen sink we have one in the um, powder bathroom. We have one under Lyra's sink, one in the kitchen, which is basically underneath the refrigerator because the refrigerator gets pressurized water for the ice maker and water. And we have one under my sink and we have one under the upstairs sink as well. So all of those areas are gonna get pressurized water. So if one of those pressurized lines were to break, a lot of water would come out very quickly. So when I did my video on how to install the water main shutoff valve, that will give you the ability to shut off the water to your entire home if there is a leak. Um, but what you really need is these sensors all over the place. So if you're sleeping or if you're away from home or if you're outside and something happens, these sensors will automatically detect that there's water and stop the water from flowing, resulting in a lot less damage. So in the SmartThings Home Monitor, if we go up to the settings cog in the upper right and we go to leaks, we can just tap on that. And here you can set up um, leak sensors. I just have all of mine selected. Um, so we're just gonna tap done there. And then what you can do is set a response. Now in here, you could tap here and you could say that I'm going to close the water valve. But the problem is what it's gonna do is basically anytime water is detected, it's instantly gonna shut off your water. Now that would be good if you're sleeping or away from home, but if you're home, you would get the notification that, hey, there's a leak, and then you can go check it out. Now, if someone is mopping there, it could just be a false alarm. So obviously you don't want your water shut off for your entire family because someone is mopping the floor. Um, so right in here, um, you can set up like sirens to do certain things, um, turn on lights, you can you know, turn on lights and turn them to a certain color, but I haven't done any of that here um, because you do get the notifications on your SmartThings app and anyone connected to your SmartThings app also gets those notifications. And in here, you don't really have much control. That's why I've set everything up in Sharp Tools. And we're on the rules page. So we're on the rules engine, rules, I'm going to show you the two rules that I have set up. So I have leak when we're away and leak when we're home. So let's go to the away one first. So basically at the top here, we just have the name. And then if any sensor detects a leak, turn off water supply. So now we have just all of the um, leak sensors that we have. We'll just go and edit one of these. So you just choose your device, select the attribute. So that would be water changes to wet and then just update it. So anytime any of these change to be wet, it's going to go down to the if condition here. And as long as the status is away or night, it's going to instantly close our water valve so it can stop that leak. And then it's going to send me a notification using a context event device name variable. So basically this will read water leak Michael sink has been detected shutting off water valve now so that is when we are either sleeping or not home it'll instantly turn off the water valve but what i have heard that people are having trouble with the water valve always getting shut off when someone is cleaning or mopping because these water sensors are very sensitive if they have enough water to make the contact um, on the bottom or the top of the sensor 
then it will detect it to be wet. So right here um, is our second automation, and this is when we are home. So obviously if we're home, we can go check and see what's going on. So if we come into here, so basically the only difference here is my leak sensor has to stay wet for five minutes. And that gives us a chance to go see what's going on. Is it really a leak or is someone just cleaning or did someone just splash water on it and it's not a big problem? We don't need the water valve shutting off all the time when something like that happens. So you can see all of these are five minutes except for this one is 20 seconds um, because that's the one we're gonna use for testing in a second. And it's just going to check our mode. So right here you can say mode is home. So if it's in any other status besides home, it will not continue. And then the last part is to close the water valve and then it's going to send me a text message and it's going to you know, have the device name so we know where the leak is actually happening so we can go find it and figure out what the problem is when we are home. All right, now what I have done here is I've created just a dashboard and this kind of shows you that we are in home mode and we have Michael's sink here, which is currently dry and then our water valve is currently open. And you can open and close it just by tapping here. I have a um, wet paper towel, and I'm just gonna put that on top of my sensor, which will close the two contacts on the sensor, and that will um, make SmartThings think that it is wet. All right, so I'm also gonna have my SmartThings home monitor up on my phone as well, so you can see what happens there. So I'm gonna apply the paper towel now to the sensor, and almost instantly, you can see we get two notifications um, right from SmartThings. And on the SmartThings homepage, you can see moisture detected. If you go there, it's going to tell you where the moisture was detected and what time. Um, also, it's going to be flashing on all of this stuff. Now on Sharp Tools, you can see that the leak has been detected, is turned to red, and it is now flashing. And then 20 seconds later, it's going to close this water valve. So you can see that the water valve is now closed. So you can see it wasn't instantaneous to close the water valve. I had to actually wait 20 seconds. Now, if we were actually home, um, that would not be an issue because we would have five minutes to get there. But for this example, I just made it 20 seconds. But you can see you get notifications all over the place um, and it goes to everyone in your home that has smart things and has the notifications turned on so now i can actually open the water valve just by tapping on open here and now it's opening it takes a little while because kind of the water valve itself is a little bit slow and there you can see it is now back open the sink is now dry now over on the smart things app you can go ahead and dismiss this right and now you're back to normal all right and that is how i have my leak automation set up that way it doesn't inconvenience anyone if there's a false alarm when we're home. But when we are away, it's turning off the water instantly. No damage will occur when we are gone or sleeping. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.